Let's review one of the harder problems we've seen, evaluating a limit as x goes to infinity. In this question, as x gets very, very large, this first term is going to also get very, very large, and this second term is also going to get very, very large. So we have a large thing minus a large thing, and that's an indeterminate form. It means we don't yet know what the limit is or even if it exists. We have to do something else. Now when we have problems like this, there's generally two tricks that we keep up our sleeve. The first is to factor out the largest power. That's a really useful trick to have. The second trick when I have these radicals is to multiply by the conjugate. Now one of the things that makes this problem quite difficult is that if you try either one of those things, factoring out the largest power or multiplying by the conjugate, you're still going to get something that's in an indeterminate form. It won't just be over with. So for this problem, you need two steps. Let's start by multiplying by the conjugate. When I multiply by the conjugate, I notice some terms on top can cancel or simplify. These x to the fourths go away, and these x squareds, I have an x squared minus 3x squared, so that gives me minus 2x squared plus 1, and the denominator stays the same. So now the question is, am I done? And the answer is no. If I try and plug in a really big number for x, the top becomes a really big negative number. And the bottom becomes a really big positive number. But a big number divided by a big number, I still don't know what that is. So I have to do something else. And the other trick I have up my sleeve, I already multiplied by the conjugate. So let's try factoring out the largest power. Now, it's a legitimate question what the largest power is. On the top, it's clearly x squared. But on the bottom, I have some x's raised to the fourth power, but they're underneath square roots. So the thing to remember is that if I have the square root of x to the fourth, that's just the same thing as x squared. So the, top, the biggest power on the top and the bottom is going to be x squared. So now I'm going to distribute this in. And that takes care of the top. For the bottom, I have to remember that x squared is the same as the square root of x to the fourth. And I distribute it in just the way I did on the top x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth is 1 x squared divided by x to the fourth is 1 over x squared, and 1 divided by x to the fourth is 1 over x to the fourth. x to the fourth divided by x to the fourth is 1, and 3x squared divided by x to the fourth is 3 over x squared. So now again this question, am I done? Well, as x gets very, very large, the top starts to look like 2 plus nothing. That's a nice number. And the bottom, this first radical, starts to look like 1 plus nothing. And the second one starts to look like 1 plus nothing also. So now I can take my limit. Minus 2 stays the same. One cake given to many people means nobody gets much cake. Same thing on the bottom. And so what I end up with is minus 2 over 2, so my limit is minus 1.